So today is the first day back on campus and first day of teaching after a long break. I kind of forgot how to do things, even to turn on the projector. But you know what my students really appreciated and I was so thankful I did that? Embedding my PowerPoint, PDFs and Word documents inside Canvas. My students did not have to download every document to see what is in it. The preview was already there and it was so simple and easy to follow. Trust me, they don't want to download everything and fill up the computer space. So let's go back to my studio and show you how it is done. And let me show you the difference between attaching a file and embedding it inside your canvas. You will love it. Let me finish one last class for today and then I'll go back to my studio and show you. It's so nice to be back. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. I am done with my classes for today and I had a great first day of teaching. Really felt so good to be back in front of my students. In today's session, you will be learning how to embed a PowerPoint presentation inside your Canvas page using OneDrive. Something like this where your students have your PowerPoint presentation embedded. Here are two examples that I have used. Here is an interactive syllabus that I have created. I will leave a link in the description box below just so if you want to create an interactive syllabus for your students as well. So here is an example that's a textbook. Here is a grading policy and here is the homework information. So as you can see, it has been embedded inside. Students don't have to download this, but if they want to, they can by simply clicking on this open in a new window icon. And here is another example. It's a quick click and reveal PowerPoint presentation that I have created. If you are a science teacher, students can go ahead and play and it opens up and gives you all the information about the brain. Something, something fun for your students to do in your classes. In addition to teaching you how to embed your PowerPoint presentations, I will also show you different ways of embedding your PDF and Word document. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is a PowerPoint presentation that I want to embed inside my Canvas. Again, this is interactive syllabus. I will leave the link if you want to learn how to do this. So I saved this on my desktop. Let me minimize this. My next step is to upload this into OneDrive. So here I am on my OneDrive. I'm going to click on Upload, Files because I saved it on my desktop. This is my file. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And once it uploads, all you have to do is hover over it and right click. And all the way in the bottom here, you will find something that says embed. And if you are using your organization OneDrive and you don't have this option, then please keep in mind your org does not let you share your documents with everyone. So that might be a restriction. You might want to check before you start working on this one. So once I click on embed, here you can see a window pops up and it's going to ask me if I want to generate the HTML code to embed the file. I'm going to click on generate and as soon as I click here is a HTML code that I want to go ahead and copy it. Control C. Once I copy the code, let me go back to my canvas. I'm going to create a brand new page and I'm going to name it embed PowerPoint or something. And keep in mind, you will not be pasting the link here. What you have to do is go all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, these two arrows or greater than less than sign. When you click that, you will be in HTML editor mode. So let me click on it. As soon as I click, as you can see, all the options on the top have disappeared. When I click back, they come back here. So you know you are in HTML mode when you don't see any of these options. And all I have to do is control V paste my code. Let's go ahead and see what happens. And here I have, I'm going to click save so you can see it better. And here I have my PowerPoint presentation embedded. But as you can see, it's really small. I want to expand it. So let me click on edit. And I'm going back to the code again because I want to make some slight changes. And here in the width, I don't want the width to be 400. I want to be 1200 and the height to be 600 and I'm going to click the, the HTML or rich text editor again and now I have it as wide as I want. Let's go back and copy a code for one more PowerPoint, paste it and see how it works. So let me go to my OneDrive and I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to say embed and here is the HTML code. 
Control C, go back to my page in Canvas, click on the HTML editor, and as you can see, you have those coding. Enter, I want it in a whole new paragraph. Again, I don't want it too small, I want it wide enough, so I'm gonna change the width. A lot of people are afraid of coding, but trust me, once you know it, you will not go to the regular editing. You always go to the HTML because it's much easier and simpler. So I changed my width to 1200 and 600. And now let me go ahead and take a look how it looks. There I have it. I'm going to save it. And here I have my PowerPoint embedded inside my canvas. Everything works perfectly. And let me click on this one. So here you can create games, quizzes, or whatever you want for your students where you don't want them to download, but you still want them to play or have the information available for them. And again, if they want to download, they simply click on this icon here that opens up in a brand new window and all they can do is download. It will look something like this. So let me go ahead and open this up. So once they open up in a window here, they have an option to download if they want to, but I don't think students would want to download it. They simply want to play right here in your canvas. Now that we have seen how to embed PowerPoint presentation inside canvas. Now let's go ahead and take a look as to how to embed your PDF documents or word documents inside canvas. So let me go to my pages here. I'm going to click on new page and I'm going to say, word pdf why not all i have to do is click on this little documents icon right here click on upload documents in here i am going to upload a pdf do i have a pdf let me take a look i will upload okay i'm just gonna upload my worksheet i'm gonna click open it says no preview available that's absolutely okay we're gonna go ahead and click submit once the document has been uploaded, let me click on it. You have an option to click on the document link and here you have link options. So when I click on link options here, as you can see a window pops up and it's gonna ask me, do you want a preview? Yes, I want a preview in line and I also want the preview to expand by default. That way students can see the embedded document inside and decide if they even wanna download it or no. So let me go ahead and click done. And once that's done, let me go ahead and save it. And as you can see, as soon as I saved it, here I have the PDF document embedded inside my canvas. Students can work from right here, or if they want to download, they have an option to download all the way up here. Now, once this is done, let me go back to edit and let me also upload an embed a Word document. So I'm going to click enter, click on the documents, click on upload, upload file. I hope I have a Word document. Let's see. Just going to use sample Word document here. Click open. Again, no preview is available. That's absolutely okay. So I wait for the link to populate. Once the link populates, when I hover over it and I click on it, here I have link options. So let me click on link options. And as you can see on the right hand side, I will click on preview inline and I will check the box that says expand preview by default. I'm going to click done and I'm going to save it. So here is my PDF. My internet is very slow today. And as you can see, the Word document preview is also coming up. So students can decide if they want to go ahead and download it or simply read it from right here. I hope you learned how to embed a PowerPoint, PDF, and Word document inside your Canvas pages. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might want to embed all these documents in his or her page and make the Canvas page look more professional. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me, interact with me, and ask me questions on educational topics? I We'll be leaving the link in the description box below for the Facebook page and also for the interactive PowerPoint sessions for Microsoft Teams and much, much more. Please make sure you check them out. And like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.